I'll be fine. Ma'am, let me get someone to drive you home. No, really. After what you've been through tonight? After what I've been through tonight, I'd rather be alone. Thank you. Well, you're the mm. taxpayer. You got someone to talk to about all this? Yeah, I can't wait to tell my husband that I stripped my way out of a hostage situation. He's going to be thrilled. Karen, take care of yourself. So how's it going? Gave them my statement and it's over now. You seem upset. No, I'm not. You want to maybe go someplace? No, uh... thanks. I'm sorry, I have to get going. Where is she, Lucy? Where's my daughter? How would I know that? You never really told me and you didn't even let, let me visit her. Wait a minute, you're the reason she's been dragged in here? Do you have any idea what she's been through tonight? I don't give a damn. Listen, if you two agents can't control the situation, I will. Hey, back off. We do the questioning. You can't handle that. Wait outside. You back off, Boynton. She's got my daughter. Scott, what is this all about? Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Oh, my God. If you think that I have her, then that means you don't know where Serena is, do you? My Serena's is missing. Oh, come on, Lucy, save it. Scott, what happened? What happened? You know what happened. You kidnapped her. You and him. No, we didn't do that. I swear we didn't. What are you doing? Are, are you out there looking for her? We you are have doing to find everything her. we can. I don't you just settle down? Oh, come West? on, come on, come on. Don't fall for this. She wanted a visit with my daughter, and she got it. Yeah, okay, I wanted a visit. Is that such a crime? Scott, you, you cut her out of my life completely. I gave life to that girl. Dominique is her mother. I know that. But I held her and I carried her for nine months and then I nursed her and I took care of her. So I deserve one teeny tiny visit. No, not as long as you're shacking up with a psychopath. Scott, you have to let that go. She just snatched her. Huh? What, what did you tell her how easy it would be? If you touched one hair on her it's head, easy. I mean, even, shoot, shoot, I haven't even seen her, you idiot! Don't, All right, don't. just calm down in here now. Listen, Scotty, let's just... Let's just stick to the facts. Stick to the facts. Ma'am, can you explain the message you left on his answering machine? What message? The upset and threatening message. Okay, yeah, I left an upset and threatening message. But, Scott, you broke my heart. But that's not the point now. It's not important. What is important is that we have to go out there and you have to find her. I don't have her, Scott. I do it not have her. It has to be you. It is not me. You are wasting valuable time right, here. The Canadian authorities are investigating. So far, they haven't come look, up look. with anything. When I called her house, he answered the phone and he said, is it over yet? It was you? Yeah, it was me. And this time you picked the wrong guy to mess. Lucy, I have witnessed so much of your sick, twisted behavior before, but this is the yes. sickest. I would never hurt Serena. You knew that I would. A child? You do what you want to do. Okay, I used to, yeah. That's true, but I've changed. I'm different now. I have changed. No, people, people don't change. Yes, they Scotty. do change. Scotty, <laughs> stick to reality. Look, how would Lucy have time to drive up to Canada, snatch a child, and then get back home in time for dinner? Look, the preschool teacher said it was a woman with long brown hair and had the car had New York plates. Now, who else could it be, Mac? She wouldn't have time to get there and come back again. Well, maybe she flew. Maybe she rented a car in Niagara. I don't care. The point is that, that we're onto her here. Stop, stop. Please stop and listen to me. I do not have her. It has to be you. Now give me back my daughter. There you go. Yo, Hero. I'm going to take you home. Unless there are some outstanding warrants here that I don't know about. No, I'm free to go. And wasn't that Karen I saw run out of here? Yeah. Yeah, I just figured it out. She's Mrs. Wexler's daughter, right? From the neighborhood. Right. Yeah, she was good tonight, the way she bought us time. She was just as scared as we were. You think? Yeah, she looked like a tough cookie to me. Marco! 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 I don't like the dark. Marco! Polo. What took you so long? Scamming. You ruined it, Joe. She was getting scared. I was not. We're two. Nothing scares me. It's getting late. I gotta go home. Me too. You wanna come hang out in my stoop for a while? Why would I want to? Your mom isn't home nights. She is too. Mind your own business, Joe Scanlon.
She was scared. She just doesn't want anybody to know about it. Karen! Come on, in here. Gail! Gail, it's Karen! Hi. Oh. It's okay, I'm all right. Good, come on in. Oh, Karen. Oh, thank heavens. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. Monica called to tell us that you gotten out, but it's just so good to see you in person. It's nice of you to be concerned. Well, hey, you're our granddaughter. Why wouldn't we be? Well, it's uh, not like you really knew me. I know you're a member of this family, and it's just great to have you back here in Port Charles. Uh, have you, um, have you called your mother? Not yet. I'll do it later. It's just been a wild night. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm great. Comparatively, I'm alive. It was an intern. Did you know that? It was Greg Cooper. He flipped out. He lost his internship, and he couldn't handle it. Well, then he... He would have cracked up sooner or later. He lured us to a party. He held us at gunpoint so he could figure out who was responsible. It was me. <laughs> I'm the one that he wanted. I'm the one that took his place. But you already knew that, didn't you, grandfather? Uh -huh. If you're saying, did I... No, the hospital had a psychopath on its hands. The answer is no, I didn't. I had no idea. But you did know he'd been kicked out of the program. And you did know how to arrange for me to get his spot. Cooper was out, no matter what. And you did know I wouldn't like your particular brand of nepotism, so you let me think that I earned it. Well, you did. Lee. Honey, she did earn it. Your qualifications were impeccable. Hospital would never have accepted you if they weren't, no matter how many strings I pulled. It didn't matter to you that this is not how I do things. You belong here. Lee, you shouldn't have interfered. Is it so bad for an old man to want to have his granddaughter nearby so he can get to know her? Oh, old man, my foot. Now, don't try to make her feel guilty. <sighs> yes, you heard about Audrey. Yes, yes, Monica told us. Did she tell you that the chief resident was murdered? I saw him die. Audrey would have died, too, if a guy named Joe Scanlon hadn't saved her life. None of this was your doing, Karen. Well, none of it's my doing either, honey. I mean, this Cooper had a psychiatric history you wouldn't believe. He had no business being in medicine. And an ex-stripper does, if she happens to be related to you. Oh, Karen, that was years ago. Not so. I had to make a little comeback tonight. See, Cooper knew about my problem. He had files on all of us. Well, he was obviously very disturbed. He was a little put out, to put it mildly, that an ex-stripper was acceptable and he was not. But I didn't get a chance to tell him it's because he wasn't a Baldwin. Oh, Karen. He was pretty eager to see my act. I was a little rusty, but I managed. Fortunately, I was good enough to distract him. We got the gun away from him. It's kind of a weird thing to peel off your clothes in front of a gun and know that when you're out of your lingerie, you're going to get your head blown off. Oh, sweetheart, we just want to help you work through this. Oh, I'm sorry, but I am not going to be here that long. What do, you, what do you mean? It's the stupid dream I had that if and when I came back here, I could come back to Port Charles and start over. I could face my demons with a little dignity and a little self-respect and that everything would be okay. What a laugh. I'm going back to San Francisco where I belong. Karen, Look, I understand how you feel, but now is not the time to make important decisions. Why not? After deciding that you'd strip to save your life, making a simple decision like where you're going to live, that's easy. You belong here in Port Charles with your family. I'm not family. I am the accident that your son had, the one that you didn't even know about. If you only knew how sorry we are, we didn't know you all these years. Yeah, well, I guess I'll never know. Goodbye. I saw Scott tonight. Where? In Port Charles. He's here. Wouldn't you like to meet your father before you go? Come on, admit it, Lucy. We all know you're lying. I, I know you want to believe that. I know you want to think that. And I, I actually can understand why. But Scott, listen. 
I would never hurt Serena, and deep down you know that. And I don't have her. You better start believing that, or you're gonna regret Lucy, it. You I, I've will seen for the rest you do life. this before. God. This this phony act of yours to see her and everything else. Are you two gonna let him badger her like that? Listen, you guys made an arrest. Lucy, you do not have to answer another question without your lawyer here. What about my daughter's rights, Mac? I think you should leave now, Commissioner. Why? Because I'm asking you nicely to clear the room and to take him with you. I'm not leaving her alone with that maniac. Oh, shut up and get out. It's okay. No, no Lucy, I'm not going anywhere. Please, Kevin, please. come on. It's okay. Go on. You should be all right. Yeah, yeah. 